type of graph. So there are a lot of type of graph. These are the examples. So let's say I require you to sketch y equal to sine x. The graph will be this type. So draw the y axis and x axis. And sine x will be starting from 0, goes down, and at the end here. So this part, half of it will be 180. And the last part here will be 360. The maximum magnitude here will be 1. And the max minimum magnitude here will be negative 1. So same goes to cos. It will have to start not from 0, but from 1. And it goes down and goes up at the end. So on the most maximum height, it will be negative 1. Minimum will be negative 1. And half of it will be 180, last of it will be 360 degrees. So remember to write 0 here, y in axis, and x label here. For tangent, same, you have to sketch y axis and x axis. So this is your y, this is your x, and tangent x will start from 0, and then draw the asymptote, we call this line as asymptote. The line won't touch the asymptotes, goes up, and then at the end of this will be added here. So this is your 360 degree, half of it is 180, and there's no height, no maximum, no medium. So this part will be 90, this part will be 270. So this is a tangent x graph. And if you are required to sketch sine x for 0 to 180, so means that your sine x was original this way. This is 360 and half of it is 180. So what you are required to draw is just the front part. So you are required to sketch just like this. So this is your 180 from 0. So y and x. Your maximum height will still 1. Now you are required to sketch sine x plus 1. So sine x will be this way. Alright? So this is sine x, this is 1, this is negative 1. And if plus 1 means everything, you have to plus 1. So this y will become 2, 0 will become 1, and your negative y here will become your x axis. So let me redraw on the bottom. So your x axis is on the most bottom here, and your 1 here will be the starting point. Goes down, touches here, and goes up. So this point was your original x axis. And at this point, it will be your 180. So it goes down, this will be 180. Goes down from here, it will be 360 at here. So this will be your 2, this will be your 0. Y label. Same goes to this. Sin x minus 1 means the whole graph goes down. So it will be this way. Your x axis will be on the bottom, on the most top here. And from 0, negative 1, and negative 2 here. From negative 1, it goes up and it goes down to touch negative 2 here and add it with negative 1 here. So this part, the last part here, will be your 360 degree, and your middle part here will be your 180 degree. So the most minimum will be negative 2, most maximum here will be negative 1. y equal to tangent x plus 1. So your original tangent x was starting with 0. Alright, this is what you have for tangent x. Okay, but then plus y will make your 0 become your 1 and your 0 will be at this side. So this is your new tangent x with 0 on the bottom and 1 on the top. So this will be your 1, your original, and your 90 degree is this line. Then pass through your 180 here and then end it with your 90, 
360 here. So this will be your 360, this will be your 180 degree. So always remember not to draw wrongly for this graph. Why you go to 2 sin x? 2 sin x means your maximum height now and minimum height here will be changed. Same with sin x, 360 degree and 180 degree, but the height here will be 2 and the minimum height here will be negative 2. With 0 here, y label, x label. If it's sin 2x, it means 2 cycle. 2 cycle means this is one cycle, this is the second cycle. Alright, so this is called as 2 cycle. With minimum of negative 1, maximum of 1 here. So this is 360 degree, this will be 180 degree. With Y label, X label. Now you are required to sketch y equal to 3 10 x. 3 10 x means that the height will be 3, but for tangent, there's no height. So what you do is to just draw tangent x because there's no height. So I'm drawing tangent x here, and the is 360, this is 180 degree with 0 here, y here, x label here. Now, you are required to sketch y equal to minus sin x. Minus means the whole graph will be reversed. So, starting from 0, goes down first and then goes up. So, this is your negative sin x. Oh, this is 360 degree. And the middle will be 180 degree. This is 0, this is y, maximum of 1 and minimum of negative 1. X label. Now you are required to sketch modulus cos x. Means that you are sketching a cos x but then without modulus. So I mean without negative. So this is the maximum one but then there's no negative here. So it will be reflect up and become positive. So your cos modulus cos x at the end of the result will be this way. So this is your x, this is your y, go down and then goes up here and then goes up here. So this will be your 1, this is your 0 and in this case this is 180 degree and in this case this is 360 degree.